I'm looking to get insight because uh, those NGOs are working on the ground. Uh, they know the populations they are caring for. We need to be very clear about uh, abolishing segregation, for example, because if our end goal is integration, uh, our projects, our programs that will lead there also need to be integrated. We were really pleased to have this opportunity to speak directly to the commissioners. And uh, basically they, they presented us what will come in the next uh, weeks. That means their progress report on the national Roma integration strategies, but also the council recommendation they will do to member states. So there are two yawning gaps. One is uh, very insufficient national Roma integration strategies and the other is the link between the national level and local implementation. The key issue is that discrimination against Roma is actually systemic. Uh, they are victims of uh, hate crimes, they have no police protection, their children are segregated into inferior schools, they are incriminated at work, they are forcefully evicted from their homes. And none of these things need to happen. The EU framework has put in place um, a set of expectations and obligations on member states and now the key is to see that those uh, expectations are fulfilled. I think it's very important to acknowledge that, uh, that Roma are uh, discriminated and that Roma are not only those poor and those in need. That Roma actually can be agents of their own life and can take the responsibility in their hands and can make the change. The point is that we still have to translate how paperwork and how objectives which are put on paper can be translated in reality. It is a two-sides process. It, it is about the mindset of the community, of the Roma community in itself, that, that the community needs to participate, that the community needs to do something for itself, you know, to overcome the, the huge disparities which they are living in. And also it's about the mindset of the society or the local authority, that there is more value for all if we have a community which is included, not a community which is excluded. It is very important to know what they conceive as the real problems on the ground and to see how we can work with the member states so that these problems are solved.